sir. Welcome to the Batman premiere. I'm assuming you've seen the movie now. Seen, what did you think of it? I, I loved it. I, I think Matt's done the most incredible job. I mean, just phenomenally detailed, beautiful work. It, it, phenomenal. We're going to get you Rotten Tomatoes approved with quotes like that. I love it. So listen, <laughs> I want to hear from you. As uh, in, the, in the film, Batman is in his early years. That means Alfred is in his early years. Yeah. What kind of dynamic does that establish for your character with Robert's Bat? Well, it's, it's, that's very interesting. And, and that's the crux of, I think, what is different about this version uh, you know of their relationship which is that they're not uh, they're not in tune with each other you know th th there's a lot of antagonism coming from Bruce because he's trying to break away and form and form his ide ideology about what Batman is and that is actually you know Alfred is struggling to, to be the mentor and fill the void that he knows he's got to fill and he's not a, he's not capable he, Alfred's not really a capable of of expressing emotion but he's called on to to, to actually keep an eye on, on, on this young man who's destroying himself and he's watching this happen and so it's a very it's a very fractured tense relationship that we have at the beginning of this oh yeah and I, I love how uh, I, forgot, I forgot my question I was I get this is, this is the second time it's ever happened to me <laughs> I get so lost in what you're saying we talked to Comic Con and I forget my next question you're the only person that's ever done that to me <laughs> I had a, oh oh it was about it was about getting getting hands on Alfred they're very different iter actually no I don't I want to skip that question Robert Pattinson has a very distinct presence as Batman what is it like when he steps on set in a suit versus when he steps on set as Bruce uh, I mean that's what's so incredibly extraordinary about what, of what he's doing with this character is that the vulnerability and the the sort of self-destruct mode that he's in when he's playing Bruce and you know and then you and then when he comes on as Batman and there's there's that he's he's a powerhouse and he's he's you know in control and there's it dominating and and it's just the balance I don't think I've ever seen the bat that the, or the contradiction between those two characters played so strongly and the values played so strongly between the two characters